the best of Broadway returns to paradise this weekend, a collaboration between the Paradise Symphony Orchestra and California Regional Theater. Joining us now with details is uh, orchestra director, Dr. Lloyd Roby, and also Chloe Brandy, right? Uh, one of the featured vocalists. Thank you both for being with us today. Thank Thanks for having us. I heard this show was fantastic last year, so uh, that's part of the reason I'm sure that you're bringing it back. Uh, Dr. Roby, how do you describe what people can look forward to? Well, uh, if they were there last year, they already know, but it's the uh, same idea, just different songs because there are so many wonderful th songs in, in musicals. So we're going to hear a 21-piece uh, choir. Last year it was 12, and it was so oh. popular that more people wanted to join. So that's gotten bigger and better, and we have the Paradise Symphony also. So this is uh, 12 different songs, right, from Broadway, uh, some of the classics you'll recognize, um, and uh, combining forces with California Regional Theater. You're one of the vocalists. Let's talk about your role in this. Yeah, um, I'll be singing with the ensemble in the choir, and then I also have a couple songs that I'll be singing uh, featured solos in, um, like Tonight from West Side Story and Breathe from In the Heights. Oh, wonderful songs. It has to really be neat to be playing with the full symphony. Yeah, it's amazing. The <laughs> feeling of like having an entire orchestra behind you is awesome. It's super cool. Now, this is all happening at the Paradise Performing Arts Center, which is a wonderful venue. I mean, really, there's not a bad seat in the house. Mm -hmm. uh, great sound. Uh, but you were telling me, Dr. Roby, that ticket sales are already, already going pretty strong, so you probably are encouraging people to get tickets early. Well, it was just about sold out last year, both concerts. And this year, uh, as of a few days ago, uh, actually earlier this week, Monday, uh, there were already between two and three hundred seats uh, already in, in for both concerts. So ah. they're selling out pretty quickly. So these performances are happening this weekend, right? Yes. Saturday evening? Yep, November 4th at 7.30 and November 5th at 2 o'clock. Okay, so great. A matinee, if you want to bring the kids along, mm -hmm. maybe they get exposed to some of these Broadway tunes and... Um, it just it's neat to see the two groups working together because they both have such top-notch reputations um, and so uh, hopefully a partnership that's going to continue, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, it was my, my wife's idea uh -huh. last year and she comes up with these great ideas often and this has just really blossomed very quickly. And a lot of talent, uh, obviously, on both sides of the of the sta stage, although they're all beyond one stage. But I want to thank you both for being with us today. And if you want to get tickets, we do have a link where you can do it. Just head to actionnewsnow.com and click on News Links.